What's up everybody, welcome back to Last Day on Earth Survival here on my main account once again. Today's video we are going to be going over the fully modded VSS since everybody seems to be enjoying the fully modded weapon series. Does that make sense? Fully modded weapon? Yeah it does. So the me uh, the mods we have decided to go for is the extended magazine because whilst this one does increase crit chance and durability a little bit, this one increases the damage, which is what I would like to get the most of. We've got the X8 sight, which adds 2 to damage, 3 to crit damage. Decreases speed a little bit, but that's not the end of the world. We have also got the tactical stock, which again increases damage and a bit of crit chance. And then we have got the ATPL1, which is increasing damage and crit chance. And we've got the handle, which just increases damage and crit chance a little bit less. So I've got a lot of VSS's ready to go. So our beautiful VSS is going to go from this to this. As you can see that's quite a dramatic change. Now we've got a couple choices we can go for here. So we can have either the Atpial, which you can see the stats at the top, increases the damage and crit damage a lot. However there's practically no crit chance. Or we can go for the Handle, which increases the damage, so without it, there we go, increases the damage a little bit, increases crit chance a little bit, or we could go for that one, which increases damage a lot and does nothing to crit chance but increases crit damage as well. Now it doesn't look like we're going to be getting many critical shots, but I'm actually alright with that, I'm just trying to boost the base damage as much as possible. So now if we take a look at this here. Our fancy new VSS has a base damage of 65 and a speed of 1.8. Normal VSS, base damage 50, speed of 2. So we're getting an extra 18 damage per shot from that, which is quite a lot in this game. So let's mod this up, get mods on every single one of them, and then I'm thinking, well, I know I've got a raid lined up ready to go. I have been raided, we have a revenge raid there. So what we'll do first is take some of these lovely VSSs out on a revenge raid and then ooh, probably probably the police station although I did already do the yard in another video so I'm not sure if it will have reset yet well in fact I know it hasn't reset yet so we'll save save the yard we'll go for actually you know what we will do the yard I'm incredibly undecisive I'm gonna go to the yard afterwards as well but let's get this raid done first hey eh? let's get these ooh Okay, good. I've still got more hatchets. There we go, that should be enough. Right, how are we looking here, guys? Yep, just need to eat something up, get a drink, and then we can go raiding with our fancy new fully modded VSS. And get some loot as well, and if we're lucky, a few more VSS assessors. I give up trying to say it properly because I have a lisp and I trip over it so much. Ooh, we don't need that C4 in there. Right, uh, C4, space for you, yeah. So total VSS stock we're looking at, I have got quite a few of them. I'm planning on attempting at some point to do a full set of 99 waves using just, hmm, I'm thinking the VSS and the shotgun maybe, something like that. Okay then, we're over at player 5863 or 5683's base. I know nothing about it. Ooh, we've got a nice stone section there. We've got a twig wall here. We're obviously going to break in the twig wall. That's a woodworking bench. Can I please break the actual wall? There we go. Hate it when it does that. There we go. We just wasted seven noise. No, don't hit that. And, okay, we are not into their stone section. I'm going to see. I'm guessing that stone section is going to be locked off. Yeah, it is. With a C4, yep, okay. Oh look, they have trees inside the base. Right then, this is where their best loot is going to be. What are we getting? A few carrots, I'll take another entirely fresh hatchet. Right then, so we're looking for any critical shots here. Doing 65 on average per hit. I'm not seeing any criticals. I think we actually have two waves of zombies attacking us here, that's why... It's quite so many. Yeah. Oh, this fully modded VSS is nice. However, need to be careful because there is a high chance 
my armor's going to break on this raid, which isn't good. Right, so what do we see in here? Nothing else that we want. Okay. Some main things I'm looking for are probably, I think, thick fabric and the rub the um, alcohol stuff. What is it? The alcohol that you make med kits with because I am running very low on it. What are you going to give me? Uh, hey, that's mine. Ooh, a bit of petrol as well. And I'm happy to leave those other items. Now, I think this box, when we break it, is going to summon in the next wave. Yes, it is. Ooh, a couple of tickets. I'll take them. Right, have we got a wave of zombies to deal with? If not, why not? Okay, I'll go with it. Need to be very careful with this other C4 I'm because I do frequently accidentally kind of blow walls up that don't need to be blown up and get myself killed and just waste C4. Yeah, I think the slight increase on the firing time would have been nice. However, with the damage buff on it, it's definitely worth it. Still putting out a bit more DPS. What are we getting in here? Nothing good. We got, I think, two boxes left to go. And we'll have just enough noise. Um, let's go for a little bit of organization. Have we gone through one VSS already? We have. Okay. Let's grab another stack of that. Uh, ooh, there we go. That's a full stack now. Uh, let's do that. Right, I'm happy with them. Okay, we got one box left. Yeah, we got one box left. What are we going to get? We've already found our electronic circuit this way. Ooh, berries. I actually am going to take those berries because I need them to make the alcohol. So where is my trusty chopper? Now, how well can I do this? Hey. Now, luckily, this doesn't increase noise. And we'll dismount it. Why can't I get off my bike here? Why? Thank you, game. They really went over the top on fixing that bug, didn't they? Uh, let's stash those. I really wish you could double click to put things into there. That'd be so nice. Oh, my um, headset is dying. That's what that beep was. Okay, let's take some berries. And I'll grab that. And you know what? I'll put some of those on. Alright then. That was that was an alright raid. Got some resources. We've, got some, we've gotten a lot of pine from raids lately. And leather as well. We're finding so much leather. That was another 60 right there. Okie dokie. Right then, we're over at the police department. I'm doing my usual method for clearing this out. So what I've got is shotguns for the primary shot to do damage to the wave. And then, so I will go active shot and then switch over to the VSS and start shooting. So that's how it's going to work. I've just been a little bit silly and actually used my um, active shotgun mod. So I'm going to need to wait a second for that to refresh. But I think I'm going to aim for about 21 waves and see what I get from it. I think last time I did that, I got four blues. Something like that. However, that was before. That was straight. Oh, uh, why did I do that? Don't need to do that here. Massively wasted a shot in my shotgun there. Uh, well, I know I would normally use melee weapons here. However, it's not the end of what. Oh, that is so nice. It's two-shotting them. That is lovely. Look at that. And then it's... Ooh, 27 per hit, the zombie officer. That's painful. Okay, how many have we got there? There we go, yeah. Zombie officers, I believe, are going to be our main issue here. Because they're just going to take more hits to kill than pretty much anything else. Like, the Hungry Chomper has more health, but I don't think has any armor. If I'm remembering correctly. Oh yeah, and of course the explosive zombie is going to be a three hit one as well. Yeah, right zombie is going to be an issue. There we go. Brawler dead. But the right zombie is nice and slow and easy to kill. Yeah, we're getting a good amount of tickets from this. There we go. So it seems like the more times you reset it, the less tickets you get. Which is actually a known thing. Okay, no exploding ones this time. There we go, just finished off that exploder anyway. Whew, this is, the VSS makes this go so fast and I did not check the cooldown on my mod. There we go. 
uh, killing waves so fast that the mod hasn't even got time to the active skill, whatever you want to call it, hasn't got time to cool down. Uh, let's go for that. So we've gone through one VSS and about half a shotgun so far. There we go. Is that reset? Yeah, close enough. And boom. That is nice. Oh, need to make sure I'm not dying here. Exploder, can you explode? Uh, ow. Said ow before it actually hit me there. Okay, let's take out that one and finish off with the brawler. Perfect. There we go. That's eight waves done already. Ah, uh, didn't get the right zombie at the back there. Ah, uh, well, never normally get the right zombie with a spread shot. But honestly, spread shot is, without a doubt, the best active mod in the entire game. I don't think anyone could convince me of a mod that is better than it. So if you haven't already, get yourself down to Blackport PD, try and open up some of those purple boxes to get yourself the spread shot. It's relatively expensive to make. It's definitely a lot more useful than the what was it, grenade launcher for the AK. I found a lot more usability from this. Come on, you can die, you can die. And it also has potential to do a lot more damage than the grenade launcher. Because the also the grenade launcher, it randomly fires off in weird directions for no reason. Oh no, oh no, oh no. Oh that was very, very close. Okay, that has in fact broken. Okay, sorry, I'm gonna have to break my rule here. Finish these off with my shotgun. Because I don't particularly want to switch out and let them heal up fully by hitting me. There we go, that's two of them dead. Oh dear. Okay. Take it back. There we go. Ah, oh, that was unnecessarily stressful. Gotta make sure the make it's in the correct slot. Active mod, that is cooling down. That'll be ready to go in a second. Five, four. Three, two, one. Go, baby, go, baby, go. Blow up these zombies, don't you know? There we go. Ah. The explosive zombies are going to get really annoying here using the VSS, though, because you can shoot them again to just kill them so you don't have to deal with them exploding. But if another target comes in the way, you are just going to straight up die to them. There we go. Let's switch that over. How many waves are we at now? Wave 13, this is. There we go. Take out the explosive one right at the start, then start dealing with the hungry chompers. Ooh, we've got a brawler. I haven't seen one of them for a couple waves. And then you can die. Can I get you before you even get a hit on me? Yes! Nice. And let's get that one done. Right, I'm going to heal up. Actually, no. Nah. Not heal up yet. Let's go. Then we heal up. Hold it, hold it, hold it. Ooh. Ah, uh, that's what I mean there. I thought I was going to be able to kill it, but I couldn't get it. Something else ran in front. It's just not worth the risk. Just always run from the explosive zombies. It's a lot easier. Right, I'm going to leave my armor. I think the armor will be fine. Boom. Oh, that's so many explosive zombies this wave. Hey, you actually finished that one off. And Okay, that's another VSS down. And there we go. At least the explosive ones don't drop parasites like um, Cramp did and the Exploders. They were an absolute nightmare to deal with. Hated dealing with them. I never did manage to kill Cramp, for those wondering. Okay, we've got oh, quite a few variant zombies this time. I really wish the explosive zombie did damage to the other zombies. I know that would be broken and overpowered, but it would be so good. Ah well. Hey, shira shira. 16. Three more to go. Boom. Die, 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 die. Hey. See, right there, that should have shot the exploder, but it didn't. Oh, I did kill the exploder. I'm just a moron. That explains it. Come on, you can be dead, please. Uh, I remember when the stutter step used to be a big thing that everybody did to kill things fast. When enemies would falter if you turned around slightly. Ah, it's a shame a spread shot and a VSS shot won't prompt an exploder to blow up. You have to get that extra shot in there. 
There we go. Perfect. Hopefully we can get this done before we start dying of hunger. That'd be ideal. There we go. We just took out that exploder there. Don't have to deal with it. No, we don't want to be using the shotgun here. We're trying to do this with just our lovely fully modded VSS. Hey, actually switch then, you moron. I'm talking to myself, not the game there. That was entirely my fault. Boom. All right. Now this should be wave 20. And then we always go one over just to be 100% sure. Uh, nope, brawler. Don't want to be dealing with the brawler. Okay, you can die, you can die, you can die. Hey, I said you can die. And you. There we go. And now we'll end off with wave 21. Just to be 100% certain that we are clearing the max amount there. Right. You can die. Ooh. So this has used, what? One and a half shotguns and three VSS and one and a half sets of armor to do 21 waves. Let's take a look. Okay, so yeah. Three and a half VSS. Is that one shotgun or one and a half? I think that's actually just one shotgun. Yeah, about 90% of a shotgun. Oh, I'm not sure if I have any food here. Okay, um, let's grab the tickets and see what we get. So, 21 waves, one set of military armor. Well, tactical armor, sorry. Okay, I need to get something to eat. Nom, 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 nom. Just have my daily beans there quickly. Okay. What can we get? I'm hoping for some blue tickets. I won't be surprised if we don't get them because, as I said, or Anne showed, I did reset it using one of the circuits. Oh, there we go. We got a blue. My hopes are not over yet. If we can get... If we could get just another five blues, that would be perfect. I would be incredibly happy. We're already at two greens. Well, technically four greens. Uh, where's the next group? Over here. There we go. Three greens. Well, six greens. Seven greens. Come on, give me just one more blue. One more blue and I'll be happy. Can I get it? Yeah, we got one more blue. Could we get a green? Nah. Okay. So yeah, it does mean that every time you click the button to reset... Oh, we aggroed a... We aggroed a jailbird. Hello. What's up? Oh, we aggroed quite a few jailbirds. So yeah, every time you reset it with an electronic circuit, you do get less tickets. I've guessed they've done that to make it so that you can't just constantly use up your elect electronic circuits to grind a ton of them out. Which is a shame, because that's what I'd like to do. So there we go. From 21 waves, we got two blues, nine greens and two browns left over. Right, I think I am going to end off the video here, otherwise I'm not going to have time to get it ready and uploaded today. So, thank you very much for watching, people. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll be seeing you all next time. Goodbye.